Hello, my name is David Graff. I'm Manager of Business Development for American Mine Research. AMR was founded in 1975 in Bluefield, West Virginia by my father, Robert Graff. He uh, developed the first pilotless ground monitor for the mining industry, and it's kind of a neat story. He actually designed and developed the, uh, the ground monitor above my grandparents' women's clothing store and then he was able to move down the street and uh, start manufacturing the product once he got MSHA approval. With the success of the ground monitor, he was able to build a variety of uh, monitoring and control electronics for the mining industry. And uh, with the growth, we were able to build another facility in uh, Rocky Gap, Virginia, where we're presently located. We have about 50 employees uh, associated with AMR and uh, make a wide variety of monitoring control electronics that enhance both the safety and productivity for the mining industry. We have about 30,000 uh, ground monitors worldwide and we also make uh, vacuum circuit breakers, uh, mine-wide monitoring systems to monitor the gas levels and control the belts uh, and various uh, other devices in the coal mines. And then our latest development is the MindNet tracking and wireless communication system. Well, my dad is still very much involved in the businesses, and as far as uh, myself, I've been running around these halls since I was in diapers, I guess. You can ask some of the folks who have been here for a long time, and uh, they'll tell you the same and, and probably get a good laugh out of it. Officially, I started in 2002 as manager of business development, and I moved back from New York City to help uh, grow my fa our, our family's uh, business. And um, we've done a very good job of that, of um, improving in, uh, our company's product lines. What we really try and focus on is both improving the mine safety and the productivity. And I think you'll find that in all of our product line. Hi, I'm Bob Saxton, General Manager of American Mine Research. I've been an employee of American Mine Research since 1992. Five years before that, from 1987 to 1982, I was a rep for AMR and sold their product here in the East. Before that, I've worked for several different mining companies, uh, Amco, Kersey Manufacturing being two. I've grown up in the coal industry. My dad was in the coal industry from day one and uh, moved several different times in six years and went to seven different grade schools as I was growing up. And the reason for those moves was because he advanced in the coal industry and so every time he had a chance to advance his career, we moved. So I've grown up and been around the coal industry all my life. And uh, one of the reasons why I like it is because it's a challenge. It has the roller coaster rides where you go up and down and you have your swings and uh, so every day is a challenge, every day is different. Uh, new opportunities arise because of the up and downs. AMR has been very, very lucky to some extent because of the products that they've designed, that we've designed and come through and, and to help the coal industry. The whole premise of, I think, American Mind Research when Bob Graff started the company was because of the safety products that he designed, and those being the ground monitors, the circuit breakers, the atmospheric monitoring systems, and now the mine tracking and communication systems. It's a good company, and, and it's well run. I've enjoyed my time here. I enjoy the employees. One of the things that we talk about to employees is we interview them, or potential employees, as we interview them, is that we like employees to stay here a long time. With my years being 23 years associated with AMR, I think that proves one version of that. But we have other people that have been here a lot longer than me. Jim Gano, our engineering manager, for example, has probably been here 33 years. Joe Shrewsbury, our repair manager, has been here for over 20 some years back and forth sometimes you leave and sometimes the grass isn't as greener as you think it is but the unique thing about AMR is that it's a small company and I've worked for larger companies where you have the hierarchy where it's hard to talk to the higher-ups in the company 
and you have the board of directors to deal with and the money thing to deal with. But with Bob Graff owning the company all these years, I think that's unique in the time where companies are being bought out and sold on a regular basis. So I think that's, you know, I think we're a family here versus just being a job. We have fun together, we work hard, and we strive to do better. We're always looking for a new product, a new niche in the market where we can enhance this company's image in the coal industry. And we've even stretched out and, and gone into different industries. But coal is always there and coal will always be there. So that's one of the things that I think that uh, I like about AMR and working here. Hello, my name is Doug Baker. I work for American Mine Research. I started for the company back in 1994. I worked uh, in repair for AMR. Um, I was a younger gentleman at that time, uh, right out of college, and uh, was looking to get into the technical field and uh, found AMR. I was looking for a repair technician at that time. Uh, worked there successfully for a year and uh, the sister company, uh, Custom Manufacturing Services, opened up and uh, they moved to Princeton and uh, I was given the opportunity to be a part of that group for uh, about 13 years and uh, about two years ago AMR came back looking for a production manager. Um, I accepted that role with the company. Um, I took that experience of those 13 years uh, doing the contract manufacturing and brought that to American Mind Research. Um, the main goal that I'm looking for in products that we produce is uh, reliability and consistency. Um, I want the customer to be, be able to open a box and get a CO monitor or whatever product that we're making and it be exactly the same as the first one as the hundredth unit that they open up. I'm Joe Shrewsbury with American Mind Research. I've been here, well as the story goes, off and on for 24 years. I say off and on because I've left a couple of times, but this is home. And I've been here most of my life. Started when I was 18 years old. And they said, I'll tell you why, I needed a job. I was an 18 year old kid that they took a chance on. And I've grown with the company. Some good, some bad, they tell me. But I worked in just about every department. I started as a bench technician testing parts and uh, getting them ready to go. I've done sales, service, uh, inside sales and uh, some office management and uh, you know like I said I have left which they will tell you that but I came back because they took me back and, and my job here is not easy to define because as I've grown with the company I've kept old responsibilities and got new responsibilities last week I was in Arizona teaching training classes uh, I go to the shows to help present uh, the products and also provide technical support uh, you don't know where you're going to find me. I could be in the repair shop uh, covered in coal dirt helping clean and repair parts. I could be in the office trying to straighten out and help people with orders. Or you might find me at a show or teaching a class at your mine. I'm Darla Blankenship, the controller of America Mine Research, and I'm in my 26th year here at AMR. And um, got to see lots of new products being developed and lots of new hires and the expansion in the business of buildings and equipment and as a West Virginia native it's been a real um, good experience working here and seeing all the things that AMR does. So during my 26 years here we've seen our employee base go from about 40 to 50 employees to now over 200 and we're in two states we have three facilities so it's been real exciting to see the growth and all the things happening during those years. I don't have much of an electrical background but a story that someone told me when I first came to work here to describe what ground monitors do was that before ground monitors which was AMR's first product a, a coal miner would hit a machine with the back of his hands so he could detect if there was an elect electrical charge on it or he would run and jump on the back of the machine so that his leg wouldn't be on the ground and he would be on the machine and, and get electrocuted. So um, it's a little bit scary that that's how they did it back then, but it's nice to know that I'm part of a company that uses technology to make it a lot safer for miners today.